Duchess Liar is at it again. This time, she's claiming that she brought the children on this fancy, expensive ski trip. But where exactly are they? And another thing is, come on, Megan. You really think we're going to believe that you went skiing? Hello, friends. Welcome to the King YouTube channel. So everybody who knows anything about Catherine, Princess of Wales, knows that she's incredibly athletic. I mean, she is a very sporty individual. She's good at basically everything. And now it looks like Duchess of Hypocrisy Meghan Markle is trying to compete in that arena too. So the latest news from Montecito is that Meghan Markle hit the slopes in Utah with some of her friends. Now by friends, of course, we mean people who Meghan Markle is going to use and abuse until they get sick of her and want nothing to do with her. And supposedly the children were there too. Well, where exactly are they though? Well, I guess if anybody was worried about how Meghan Markle was feeling about the king's recent cancer diagnosis, she has made it clear. She doesn't care one bit. We already knew that, but still, I mean, how incredibly tacky of her to go on this PR trip. And let's be honest, that's exactly what this was. So we've got this article in the Daily Mail. Meghan hits the slopes again. Duchess enjoys snow trip with her model friend Kelly McKee Zajvin and Pilates pal Heather Dorak two weeks after appearing at ski resort with Prince Harry. God, the daily fail is at it again. Why do they even bother publishing these puff pieces on the traitors? We all know it's a big steaming pile of BS coming directly from the Sussex camp. We know that much of the information they're printing cannot be believed. And also, why are they trying to make Harry and Meghan look so good? Harry and Meghan are despised by most people all around the world. Just give it up already. At this point, I'm convinced there's some kind of financial incentive for these media outlets to print these ridiculously flattering stories about Harry and Meghan Markle. Now, where is the money coming from to pay them off? I have no idea. Or maybe it's just clicks. Maybe the clicks are enough to bring in the revenue they want. But I wish they would try to be a little more honest. Apparently, honesty in journalism just doesn't matter anymore. We are reminded of the trip that Harry and Meghan took recently to Whistler, Canada, and it sounds like Meghan Markle simply didn't get enough of the snowy weather, because recently she went to Utah with her friends, big air quotation marks there, her friends, Kelly McKee Zajvin and Heather Dorak. So on Instagram, Heather Dorak posted a photo of the three women saying that they enjoyed a quote, perfect trip. Oh, such fun. According to the Daily Mail, the trio were seen in the photograph wearing big coats, gloves, sunglasses, and beanie hats, while Dorak also posted pictures of her family members on the trip. So interestingly enough, if you look closely at Meghan Markle's beanie, it's clear that she's merging for Montclair now. She is making sure to proudly display that Montclair logo. Uh, again, Meghan Markle doesn't do anything in an authentic or genuine way. This trip was all about trying to drum up some good PR for herself. So Dorak posted this photo of the three women on Instagram and she wrote, Wow, what a perfect trip. My heart is so full. The kids crushed the slopes by day and the adults howled with laughter deep into the night. Truly lucky in love with our wonderful friends. The other one, the model, also shared that photo in an Instagram post of her own, and she wrote, Beyond grateful for the best of friends, what a trip. Thank you doesn't even begin to express what my heart is feeling after this trip. The love of family time and adventure and belly laughs made this trip one for the books. Here's to many more adventures with friends that feel like family and appreciating each day. Okay, is it just me, or does that sound about as contrived as anything has ever sounded? Why were both of them talking about laughter deep into the night, belly laughs? <laughs> Let's remember, Meghan Markle has no sense of humor whatsoever, so we can only assume there was a lot of alcohol involved in those laughter-filled evenings. Honestly, folks, they remind me of a trio of PTA moms who have an evening without the kids, so they go out and paint the town red, pretending like they're still in their mid-twenties and they can pull whatever men they want, even though they're really in their forties, and in spite of all the fillers and the Botox, they look it too. Okay, so I guess the Daily Fail broke the news of this stupid ski trip that Meghan Markle went on. But then let's shift our attention to this article in page six. Well, page six tells us a little something about the Utah ski resort that Meghan Markle went to for this perfect trip with her alleged friends. I do love how right here in the page six article, we have Marco 42 was able to stay under the radar in sunglasses and a Montclair beanie as she enjoyed the chilly weather with her fellow moms. 
So there we have it. There's the merging right there. So now the question is, did Montclair send her that beanie so that she would go out and wear it and be photographed in it? Or is Meghan Markle shilling for Montclair because she wants a deal with them? She wants to be some type of brand rep. I kind of suspect the latter. I don't know why any corporation in their right minds would want to get in business with Meghan Markle at this point in time. And even though Montclair is a company that mostly focuses on outerwear, like big puffy coats that you would wear skiing, still... They're still technically a fashion company, so I don't know why they would want to sign Meghan Markle on for anything. According to this article in page 6, it's unclear if Prince Harry and their two children tagged along for the vacation. But Meghan Markle's friends, again, you can hear the air quotes, her friends posted photos with their own families there. So what happened to Harry and the kids? Why didn't they get to join well, then we find out about this place where they went, so it's called Powder Mountain. Page 6 reports, Powder Mountain makes for a perfect escape for the Sussexes who value privacy and freedom. The luxurious ski destination located just outside of the buzzy Salt Lake City is designed to foster an uncrowded mountain experience, according to the Powder Mountain website. The website says, with a reduced number of day passes and the most skiable acreage in the U.S., Powder Mountain gives you the space to be yourself while you experience the pure thrill and limitless adventure of Utah's majestic Wasatch Mountains. So then this article basically turns into an advertisement for Powder Mountain, detailing all the restaurants you can go eat at and making it sound a lot fancier than it probably is. Now, I also came across a very interesting comment by one Reddit user, ThesePig968, and according to this user, mm, it's not so fancy after all. So these pick 968 writes, there's nothing ritzy about Powder Mountain. It's literally a collection of old condos, newer, way overpriced eco houses on top of a mountain, a yurt, a few roads, and a bunch of vacant lots. The developers have been trying for years to make it into the next it place. Utopia is the word thrown around. There's no glitzy ski town or shopping or even what you'd consider a quintessential fancy ski lodge. And this user claims that her parents live at the base of it, so I think we can believe this information. Megan's information, though, we can never believe, so I think I know who I'm going to side with. Naturally, some of you may be asking yourselves, why? Why did Meghan Markle take this trip to Powder Mountain? Obviously, it was for PR and for merching opportunities, but why exactly did she choose the specific resort? Well, friends, I think we have the answer. The answer lies in who is the majority shareholder of Powder Mountain. So according to Ski Area Management, Netflix CEO acquires majority share of Powder Mountain. Oh yes, here we have it. Netflix co-founder and CEO Reed Hastings became the majority owner of Powder Mountain following a $100 million investment. So now we know what this was all about. This is Meghan Markle trying to get on the good side of this Reed Hastings, and I'm sure he put her up to it too. I mean, it sounds like this Powder Mountain resort isn't doing very well. It sounds like it's not what it claims to be, much like Harry and Meghan Markle themselves. So who better to go and drum up business than Meghan? Just send the Duchess of Hypocrisy herself. At this point in time, it's not like Meghan Markle is in any position to say no to the boss of Netflix, so that's exactly what all this was about. I guess kill two birds with one stone, throw a bone to Megan, who hasn't done any work for Netflix in who knows how long, and also make Powder Mountain seem like a place that people would actually want to visit. I also love how we didn't see any photos of Meghan Markle actually skiing, probably because she can't. Or if she did, I guess she'd look about like Kim Kardashian did in her skiing videos. I don't know if you've seen those folks, but they are hilarious. I mean... I mean, bless her heart, if I were Kim, I would sign up for a few more ski lessons before I post any video, but that's just me. I guess Megan, though, I mean, she couldn't even be bothered to try. At least we can give Kim Kardashian credit for trying to ski. Very unlike the Duchess of Hypocrisy, who couldn't be bothered because I guess it looked like hard work. And remember, if there is one thing that we will never catch Meghan Markle doing, it's putting in a hard day's work. And you, what do you think about the Liar Duchess's skiing trip? Do you believe she spent any time on the slopes? And what about Harry and the kids? Do you think they came along too and we just didn't see them? <laughs> Please let me know your opinion below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to like and share it with anybody else who would enjoy it too. And don't be afraid to click the subscribe button to get more updates in the future. Thank you so much for tuning in, have a lovely weekend, and we'll be back to see you all tomorrow.